Hey, welcome back. Uh, we got um, we, I was able to flip the wing over and get all the tapes on the top side, and I'll uh, I'll show you that here. Um, one of the things that uh, that I decided to do that I um, I didn't do the first time I built the Mini Max, and actually I don't see this done uh, very often, but the fabric. <clears throat> the fabric right back here it almost lays on the uh, rear spar right here and whenever this uh, whenever this fabric is billowing it only happens on the top you can see there's quite a distance on the bottom um, but on the top right at the kind of the low point here it does just it's almost sitting right on that rear spar so I went ahead and ran a tape uh, down that spar line just as reinforcement um, for that as the uh, fabric bounces up and down <clears throat> we won't get any uh, we won't get any wear in that location right there so um, and I don't I don't really know why I haven't seen anyone do this um, because it makes sense to me so Basically, these tapes are reinforcing anywhere that the fabric is laying on an edge by itself. So, so you can, along here, obviously, and along this uh, trailing edge, and then up on the leading edge, um, you've got this kind of edge right here. So it's covering all of those areas to reinforce them. When I got to the tank area, it wasn't really necessary. Um, this one just uh, stops here because there's really no need to do it to do it over this area or this area. But back here, that's that rear spar area. And then we've got this edge right here. And then we've got, uh, I have one more to put on here. That's the back edge uh, of, of the uh, tank area because it is resting right on this, the edge of the wood here. So that's what we're trying to protect against. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get that piece on and then I'm gonna move on to the, uh, getting the fabric on the, on, the, uh, on the tip here. And I thought about um, not adding a second layer of fabric to the roots. And uh, I, may, um, I may go ahead and seal that up. I think it'll be good probably to just have that sealed uh, completely with the uh, fabric so I think I will come in and do the root um, I've got a piece of fabric on the winds here there we go yeah so I'm gonna do that one piece there and then jump to the uh, to the tip and the way I'll do the tip is I'll just apply glue to where I already have fabric I'll put the piece on and shrink it once it's shrunk then I'll put the glue down through the fabric to attach to this the same way that this needs to get done, this will get uh, sealed up with uh, the fabric cement, uh, thinned out with distilled water, and the same with the uh, open areas here. So, yeah, I'm going to um, uh, get to this. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to start with uh, just a little section in the middle uh, here and let that uh, set up a little bit. Then I'll be able to kind of pull this both directions um as well as uh as well as down here i'll go along the top first then i'll come down here and grab the bottom then i'll end up trimming uh trimming it all the way around once i get that done and uh glue on the edges i need to actually I need to add some glue there because there isn't any um but once i get uh once i get that done this will be really really simple to uh handle so uh yeah all right so um we'll give this a few minutes and uh and we'll be right back all right so i got that glued on uh in my head just gluing fabric to a flat surface in a vertical plane would be easy but uh <laughs> it's not as easy as i thought i'm thinking i should have started with the flat part on the bottom first but i realized the reason why is because this this line across the top is traveling further than this one across the bottom and so um, things don't work out exactly 
evenly when you're trying to uh, tug on the fabric and get it to uh, lay out the way you want it. But I got it good, so um, it just took a little bit. But anyway, that was uh, now. Now I'll come along, and I'm. I think I'm ready. I can trim the top, uh, and then what I'll what I'll do is. Uh, uh, I think before I trim it, I might actually um, put some more glue on it because I'm going to just go ahead and trim this one flush with the edge and I'll use a razor to do that uh, because it's going to get covered with a, a piece of tape here. So there's no reason to try and pink all that. And um, But I want to make sure where I'm cutting with the razor, it cuts a lot easier if you can cut through where there's glue like that. So. I'm just going to come along and make sure I've got a little bit of glue with my brush along the edge so when I do slice it, it'll go really smooth. So, um, yeah, so let me do that. And, uh, and then I'm going to think about, uh, I think we'll go from, we'll go from here over to the, over to the root. So, um, yeah. All right. It's, uh, it's fabric, right? I mean, uh, one of you know one of my commitments when I first started this channel was to show you everything and it's I guess it's up to you it's your responsibility to decide if if you find it interesting and or if it's too much and you want to skip some of the fabric uh, thing that's fine um, but uh, I do want to stay true to my commitment so um, so you get all of the bits if you want them all right I'll be back you can see uh, with the uh, with the glue on there, this just slices uh, really easy. It's, n it's like n a non-issue altogether. And I'm not even tugging on it. Now this is a fresh blade. I'm holding the camera with one hand and just doing this with the other hand. Uh, and that just works out really well so I'll go ahead and slice this all the way around and um, get this off we'll end up just touching up those edges with the iron um, just to make sure they're down good and then we'll uh, we'll be able to shrink this fabric after this is completely dry it's still a little bit it's got some areas that are still kind of dark um, so I'll get this I'll jump over to um, while this is finishing drying, I'll get the fabric on the uh, on the root, and uh, we'll do the same process over there, and we'll go. Uh, I think we'll next after we get this done, and get the tapes on the two edges here. Uh, this should uh, uh, this will be. We'll jump to the aileron next, actually. So, okay, off we go. All right, so I've got the aileron ready to uh, ready to cover now. I just set the wing aside. I was just kind of waiting for everything to dry really good, and then I'll come back and put the tapes on the corners uh, right here, and then that'll be all the taping um, for that wing, which is great. The uh, rib stitching and everything looks really good. I'm uh, super happy with the way that came out, and I uh, the more I thought about um, you know my decision to add that extra tape as well I feel really good about that just because of where it kind of bangs against the spar um, and the tip and the root uh, fabric is uh, is on and that just I'll fill that and attach it to the wood there was when I do the leading edge but the aileron um, it's really, uh, it's really important to remember a couple things, three maybe, before you um, cover it. You got to get this bearing uh, support here on rib number five. It goes outboard, um, so you don't want to forget that. And you've got uh, obviously your control horn um, at the root, and then you also have your uh, uh, the bracket that. That you attach um, that uh, oops. it's a brush 
bristle in there. Um, uh, this is the bearing for uh, um, that goes out on the tip and the root rib um, that the bearing brackets ride. It, yeah, yeah, it rides in the bearing brackets. So those have to be uh, those have to be put in as well. So um, because you're about to cover up all the access to that. So and um, the recommendation is to actually cover uh, in one one piece, um, which I can do because of what I cut off when I did the bottom of the wing. Um, you know, I only go from my fabric only went from that seam to here and the leftover is enough to wrap um, the aileron so I, I think I'm going to give that a try um, I was a little bit nervous about it just because I I wasn't confident at first that I could make sure that it that it actually can be done smoothly but um, obviously someone else has done it before so I'm going to give it a go and see if I can't uh, if I can't make that happen um, so uh, lightly sanded all the surfaces that the glue is going to get attached to and we don't want to forget that we've got to put glue on these ribs um, before uh, before I actually um, wrap this uh, for the first time so um, we won't forget that because it's going to get attached there let's see all right so I'll get some glue ready get my fabric out and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't wrap this in, uh, in one piece. And I think that'll just be starting here. Um, just starting here on the top edge and wrapping around and then finishing here. Uh, or actually on the bottom. Let's see, we're on the top right now. So I'll have to flip this around. Um, but we want to start on the bottom for sure so that we can end right here on the bottom. Okay, let me get ready. All right, so we're going to be putting glue uh, on this two inch piece here. And that'll just be wrapping around the leading edge. So we're basically uh, just doing the perimeter and then uh, we'll be putting glue on here and like we did before we'll be kind of uh, stretching this out ironing it down um, just tacking it to this and then we'll come back and uh, and then we'll attach the uh, fabric with the glue Then we don't want to forget to, uh, don't want to forget our ribs. So okay, so the glue is uh, almost dry. There's just a little, a little bit. Maybe I got a little heavy in some areas. A uh, little bit left. You see, it becomes really transparent when it's dry um, on the wood. So we've just got a little bit, a little bit more to go, and then I'll uh, get the fabric piece down here, and uh, we'll get that start wrapping that around. Uh, we'll only be attaching it to the trailing edge, and then uh, we won't attach it to the ribs. Because we got to do the same thing we did on the wing where we uh, we shrink the fabric first because we're going to want the fabric to pull around this leading edge nice and tight as well. So we'll shrink the fabric first and then we can attach it to the ribs after that by ironing it down and putting glue through it. Um, yeah. So uh, let me... Uh, Get the fabric out and uh, we'll get uh, we'll see how this goes okay so I got the iron heated up to uh, 200 degrees that's the temperature we want to use um, for tacking the fabric so so we'll just come along uh, 
come along here and get this tacked as best we can. This will really help when it comes to the uh, to the gussets here. So I'm going to start by doing the trailing edge only because I want to try this wrap and make sure I can get smooth and around all the way um, without a bunch of uh, wrinkles because I may I may have to pull this back up uh, to stretch the fabric this way, but I'll find that out here in uh, here in a few minutes. So um, I'll go ahead and get the get this glued because that's not going to change no matter what we do. This trailing edge part that's stretched out and it's going to be tacked down. So it'll just be, and if I can't accomplish it, I'll just cut a seam so that I get a two inch overlap um, on the leading edge here on the center and, uh, and we'll forget about wrapping. But first we'll just see if we can get it done. So, all right, let's get the glue on that. All right, so we'll give that a chance to dry up here, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll just kind of hit these areas with the iron where we need to, because uh, this will, this is still able to be pulled up, and once the iron gets on that, it'll fall into the edge there. Do the same for each of these gussets, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, I will be back when this is uh, ready to move on. All right. So now, I'm gonna need Debbie. I'm trying to, I need to pick, pick this up and tuck the fabric uh, underneath. Cause it's gonna wrap all the way around. So, like so. All right, so this looks like um, like it should work fine um, because uh, when I shrink this, um, it's going to pull all of this tight uh, around the leading edge as long as I can get the um, get this trailing edge pulled around nice. I think I should be in really good shape. Uh, so let's give it a go. So that worked out pretty good. Um, I was able to get that uh, glued all the way along there without any without any wrinkles or anything. And now we can. Uh, I'm uh, what I'm thinking. What I'm thinking about is is I need to get 
a uh, I need to get a two inch overlap of the fabric and I'm uh, I'm thinking that in order to uh, accomplish that I probably should have uh, started on the other side so they end up with a double layer there but I can always I can always go I can always go another inch here I can go out to two inches here and that'll accomplish the same thing it's just I end up with a kind of a weird finishing tape arrangement there Okay, so I decided that I do need to put a seam on the bottom because I need to get that two inches of overlap. If I would have started on the top side um, and then wrapped all the way around and back over the top side, I would have my two inch of fabric overlap. But that's okay; it'll keep the seam off the top, um, and uh, it'll put it it'll put it down here on the bottom. And I think what I'll end up doing is using a three inch tape instead of a two inch tape, so that I can uh, wrap around the trailing edge. Uh, about an inch which will which will work out really good I have some three inch tape so that'll cover my seam and it'll get me around the uh, uh, it'll take care of covering the seam here this seam will be like right about here uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink the fabric first and after I get it shrunk then I will glue the rest of this um, uh, to the um, to the fabric it would be a little difficult to do it while it's saggy so I really don't have a choice I got to shrink it a little bit first before I can actually glue that down and then I can final shrink it um, after that go over the whole thing again after that gets glued in place so okay all right so we'll get to we'll get set here and we'll start shrinking this and we'll avoid the avoid the ribs doing this we'll shrink some of this side and then we're going to flip this over and we'll shrink on the other side because we're remember we're wrapped around so I'll just have to do that uh, maybe one more time I'll flip it over and I'll turn the heat up a little bit uh, maybe uh, 10 degrees or so and we'll we'll shrink the leading edge um, as I probably mentioned before the wood really acts as a heat sink um, so I like to add a little bit of temperature there Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish shrinking this out, and uh, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that all shrunk now. It looks uh, looks really good, and uh, now I'm just going to glue down this fabric right here. And then while I have it turned over this way, I'm going to make the, uh, the little doily that's going to go over top of the... Uh, that's going to surround this. Um, you can see why we need that there, so... <clears throat> yeah, so I'll get this glued down and uh and then we'll uh we will um we'll go from there. We just have to do the tips and 
that is a problem. So I know this happens, but I don't like that it happened to me. Um, <laughs> I, I will show you. There is no piece on here. That bearing is not there, which means I have now got to cut an access here to um, facilitate getting to that, uh, which won't take a lot. I just got to get be able to get in there and get the get the washer and the nut on and get a wrench in there. But uh, nonetheless, I'll cut a little little slot on the bottom and. Uh, I don't want to put like a whole inspection ring here. I don't think it's necessary. So <sighs> I thought I checked everything I did on the other end where the uh, uh, control horn is. I just didn't get that tip. So, um, oh, well, we'll just work around it. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down so we can keep uh, moving forward here. Okay, so uh, I've got that all taken care of. Um, this is the top side, obviously, and the bottom has got the two inch overlap. So that's all, that's all set and good. Uh, I did get the, uh, did get the patch on the, on the, uh, whoops, the other side. <laughs> this is the left wing as it actually. So I did get the patch over the, um, control horn so so that's all set just have to uh, go into that tip out there and take care of getting the getting this guy installed um, which uh, it won't take too much it'll be alright um, okay so that'll be it for me today Tomorrow, um, I'm hoping I can work on it again and I can get to um, actually doing the, uh, uh, get all the tapes on the aileron and then I will be, um, I'll be basically done um, with the left wing. So uh, I've got the tapes to put on the corners of the tip and the root and then I have uh, the tapes on the here and then um, it'll be... Um, thinning out some glue and actually finishing these these surfaces that are completely uh, uh, that are all like wood so um, we have that to do on the leading edge of the wing we have that to do here then I'll be actually done with all the fabric taping all that on the left wing so okay thanks for hanging out with me and uh, as always I will catch you later